Someone directly asked, where is the place to find FOSS when you don't know how to read it yourself? I'm going to reframe the question a little bit and say, how do you know to download trustworthy open source software? This is the case with all computing, which is that at the end of the day, you either need to either trust the developers are pushing out what they say they're pushing out, or you have to check it yourself. But there's really no, you can't rely on anybody perfectly to vet all of these things. That's the unfortunate truth with all computing and with all products. I think it's just a general rule when you're doing anything that you don't do yourself, that there is some reliance on someone else doing it for you. Um, and so like we just saw with the XC stuff, for example, sometimes things sneak by, which nobody would have ever caught. And I, I say this, but I don't think that that's a reason to not use all of these products. I think that if you're using stuff that's reasonably um, like maintained um, and you can look at like if they have a GitHub page, see how often people are using it, see how many stars it has, maybe see how many issues there are and how active they are at responding to that kind of thing, et cetera. Even though stuff like this happens sometimes where um, products aren't what they say they are, um, by and large, you're, you're going to be fine um, with right. most of these mainstream products. Yeah, the only thing I have to add to that is I've talked about this in the past, but I've become a lot more wary of very small projects that are run by, I'd say, like one to three developers, especially if it's like a <laughs> what you think of when you think of an open source project, which is there's no like revenue source, there's no business model. Um, it's not the kind of thing that's run by maybe five people, but it's like, you know, a full blown organization, they have to be 24 seven ready to go. Um, the reason I say that is, was it Bromite? I want to say it was either Bromite or Fennec, but there was an Android browser. And I want to say it was like over holiday break, there was an urgent security update that had to be pushed out and they received it like two or three weeks after everyone else received it. And I know Bromite's not even a thing anymore. And now it's Chromite. I don't know what's going on with that. But um, my point is, like, you have to remember that if you're going through a small open source project that's only being run by one or two people, especially if it's one person, you're completely dependent on one person to be online all the time to deal with serious issues that might come up. Just be aware of that. Um, and also, if something happens to that person, what if they end up in the hospital? Like, we don't want that to happen, but what do you do then? You have to hope that someone else steps up and takes the reins, and you have to trust their vision as well. So um, just be aware of that with open source projects. Um, that's kind of why I have migrated away from, like, very small things run by just several people. Um, just being in this space for so long, there's been so many projects now that I've had to move my data away from, and I don't want to keep doing that. Yeah. That's totally valid. I, I, you just have to remember that, like with open source projects like that, it's it's literally not their job in almost yeah. all cases to work on this. <laughs> and so, there, you, you can't do blame have them. to, it, yeah, you can't blame like, them. There's upset. some kind of acceptance that you have to have where maybe this project will just be unmaintained someday, and you have to keep an eye on that and be prepared to switch to something else, um, especially when it comes to small stuff like that. So, yeah. I think that's a healthy perspective going into it to have is like, you can appreciate it, you can do it, but just be aware it might not exist forever. So appreciate it more and maybe give more monies uh, to open source projects while you're using them so they're more likely to stick around. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Here's another clip for you. And if you want to really dive into tech, check out our main channel, TechLore, for a deeper dive into digital rights, privacy, security, and more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.